Good morning guys, so this is our new car. This is our new BMW 1 Series M Performance or M Sport. It's a 118D. I'm gonna talk about why we bought this car in a second. For now, welcome to Switzerland and welcome to Lauterbrunnen. This place is magical. So this is the replacement for the Mini Electric. The reason we got rid of the Mini Electric, well, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, uh, the Mini Electric was not the greatest thing in the world in terms of its range and the depreciation on it was horrendous. Electric cars, unfortunately, we tried it, we experienced it. It is still not where we need to be in terms of the level of having it as a easy to use day-to-day -day driver. This, however, very different story. And so you join us here in Switzerland. We are here on a bit of a holiday. We are in Jungfrau region, Lauterbrunnen, and we are here for what is effectively a hiking holiday. We love hiking. It's a new thing which I've, I've absolutely just started to really enjoy. And we took the one series down. And now some of you have probably said, Steph, why didn't you bring the Porsche down? The Porsche would have been epic to come down to Switzerland in. And yes, you're right. By the time of the year we're in right now, it is uh, beginning of April. A lot of the mountain passes are actually still closed. So bringing the Porsche down, whilst yes, it probably would have been good fun, I would not necessarily have enjoyed it as much as this. And the reason being, I've spent the majority of my time in this car on the motorway. And because the mountain passes are closed, we're basically parking ourselves here in our Lauterbrunnen campsite with our little chalet, which you'll see here on the left-hand side, you'll see a little tour of our um, of our little chalet, which is very, very nice. We arrived yesterday. Um, so yeah, bringing the Porsche down, not exactly the best thing to do. Plus we packed the car pretty heavy. And uh, as a direct result of that, this was the perfect car. Also, we're doing around 60 miles to the gallon out of this car on the way down, which is the benefits and beauty of having a diesel car. Would have never have dreamt to be able to make it down here in the electric car with a range of 80 miles, whereas this, full tank 700 kilometers so in terms of the spec that we went for we went for melbourne red um, with the black pack the m performance pack on it um it looks so similar to the m135i's i mean great for me not great for m135 owners we've got the bigger brakes uh, we've got the black pack um, inside is very nice i do like this car very 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 pretty car very similar to a lot of the newer cars that i've driven in terms of the bmw you've got of course the newest steering wheel the bigger i drive it is a very very nice car and with this one we've got the m performance seats in the rear oh in the rear lots and lots of space to store this to, to load it up as we did um, and more importantly really the boot space on it is also flipping good <laughs> so i'm up bright and early because i need to go and get a few things from the shop uh, because this is a self-catering chalet of course the jungfrau region is stunning we're in lauterbrunnen as i said check take a look at this so this is the campsite we're staying in so you've got lots of little mini chalets there's not many of the big ones that we decided to stay in uh, you've got all your pitching down there if you've got your own kind of uh, camper van or whatever it is you want to go and come and do i mean look at this cows doing their walk the peaks over there and uh, it is just a very, very nice place. And there is the Starbuck waterfall, the one that you see on Instagram everywhere. So uh, we're going into the shop now to load up on supplies. So for those of you who watched my uh, video of the M3 touring, we actually passed through here, obviously Lauterbrunnen, in the, when did we arrive? When did we do this? We did, I think September time. Do we do September? Yeah, I think it was September. So we did Lauterbrunnen as part of a very quick whistle stop whistle stop tour of the Jungfrau region but we loved it so much that we decided we had to spend some more time here in Lauterbrunnen and the village is beautiful everywhere you look you got waterfalls after waterfall after waterfall and as a place to come and visit it's unreal and if you like hiking if you like road trips it is a great drive down and um, pretty easy to get to, if I'm completely honest with you. Uh, we made it down actually, so we left the UK in the one series and we've done it the whole thing on a tank and a half of fuel. So about 80 quid it cost us to get down here, plus tolls, which adds up, but it is worth it. Had I've done it in the Porsche, flipping out, in the Porsche, it probably would have cost about four, four tanks of fuel. But as I said, main reason for not bringing the Porsche down is this isn't that kind of holiday. And so, this is uh, Blause. It's our first stop uh, of the day. A very, very beautiful little lake. Uh, not far away from Can Kandersteg, which is our main spot where the uh, Lake Oceanese is. But you can have a look. 
the water is just clear as hell it's amazing and uh, we've lucked out with the weather we've got um we've got an interesting challenge ahead of us because we've got two days of decent weather and then it gets rainy maybe even snow snow i don't mind because that'd be cool but rain will be a bit of a shame but it's very unpredictable here the swiss weather but right now all is good <laughs> i mean seriously that looks unreal Oh wow, look at all the fish. Look at all the fish there. Yeah. I mean, this is nuts. Loads of fish, and they're big fish as well. If you like your fish, come here. Look at this big boy, look at that. I mean, I don't really know much about fish, but that's massive. And look how, I mean, I can't get over how clear the water is. Yep, this is definitely a place that you should add to your list. So that was Blouse very, very nice. We are now back in the BMW 1 Series, the M13, not one, M135i, I wish, the 118D M Sport. So uh, very briefly about this car, because this, this trip really isn't about this car. I, we bought it, my, my wife and I, as the kind of daily car I talked about at the beginning of the video. Uh, but it's, it's a two litre, four cylinder diesel. It's not got a whole lot of BHP. I think it's about 200, give and take. Not six, about 8.5 seconds. So it's not the quickest thing in the world. But that's not what it's meant to be. It's just a daily car that takes us back and forth to work that we use for everything. Perfect for the dogs, perfect for travel like this. And as you can see directly in front of us now, we are now heading to Candesteg where we're going to go to Lake Oceanese, where we're going to do our piece of these like six kilometer walk each way. So it's going to be pretty tough. So one thing I will say about this car is that it's super comfy. And with the M Sport uh, suspension package and all that jazz that comes with it, uh, it handles pretty well. You can see right now we're about to hit a couple of twisties. Um, I mean, I'm currently in comfort. You can go into sport mode if you want, uh, but there isn't that much roll in it. But more importantly than anything, it's just the comfort of the car is superb. The steering wheel is nice. It's nothing that you don't already know from him. Even the M3 steering wheel I drove is very similar. And that's the one thing with BMW. It's a good benefit for us with this car is you get a lot of the kind of uh, creature comforts that you're used to in all of these M Sport cars for a fraction of the price. I mean, we paid about, we paid about 25, 26 grand for this with 9,000 miles. So it, it is a good car for the money that we paid for it versus the Mini that when we bought it was around 28 grand, 29. And uh, the reason we got rid of it so quickly was because the depreciation was atrocious. But what I love about this car as well, look at the iDrive system. It's just a huge, huge screen, digital dash, perfect auto. Yeah, look, as a whole, this car is awesome. Wow, so my feet are killing. <laughs> around about 5K later, I'm here. 5K of basic incline, which is probably the insane part. But look at that. That is a, an incredible view with such an epic backdrop. And it's funny because, I mean, there's snow on the ground over there, but you wouldn't feel it because it's like 20 degrees at the moment. It's, it's all melting away. But I reckon there'll be a bit another snow dump in the next couple of days. It's definitely not going to be this nice in a couple of days. So we are absolutely maximizing on the lake. But I think now it's time to head back. We've got other things we need to do. Harder Clue Ridge is the one we're going to do next. So uh, let's go and do that. just like that an entire day is done here in the Infra region <clears throat> not gonna lie kind of exhausted 20 kilometers we've done 20k today we set off quite early and it's now about eight o'clock in the evening so uh, yeah that is a whistle stop tour well not really actually it's a pretty long day a uh, bit of a tour of what it's like if you want to come to Switzerland do some hiking um, hopefully this video is a little bit informative and also a quick update on our new car the one series diesel and performance love it really do and i look forward to driving it back as well it's going to be a real pleasure really easy to drive and great value for money i hope you enjoyed the video guys if you did please smash the like button comments are always welcome and i'll see you all on the next time i'm gonna go have a beer see you later bye bye